Oh no, enemy! What are we gonna do? We can fly out of here in our hover tank. Hover tank away! Hello everybody, my name is Spine. Welcome back to some more scrap mechanic. Now last time we played, we managed to paint this nice big shop here. And we also painted my tank. It's camouflage now. So if you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's pretty cool, featuring the new paint tool. But over here, what I got is a more badass chassis of a tank. Now, it's not going to be a regular tank. It's going to be a hover tank. So I just got to add the wheels really quick. And I made it so that the wheels on this tank are quite a bit larger than the other one due to uh, issues with not being able to climb certain things. So hopefully this will fix it. Now, I plan to add thrusters to the bottom to get it to lift. Now, that looks good. Let's see how this works. Okay, cool. It looks a little stiff currently, but once we add weight to it, it might give it more life. And over there, I got my helicopter. That doesn't work currently. I might do that in another episode. But anyways, what we gotta do now is we gotta figure out how to build the body on this. Now, I'm not gonna add the thrusters until last due to uh, weight issues, because if we add the thrusters now, it will become unbalanced and we'll have to balance it out again anyways. So might as well do that in the end. So the seat, we're gonna kind of put it... There we go, that looks good. Okay, now that we got the seat there, I'm gonna try to figure out where we can put the engines. Now we gotta put them closer to the middle, because last time when we built the tank, we had problems building the body because the engines were in the way. So there we go gonna have four engines again I'm not sure if it really matters but I'm just putting four for balancing purposes all right now I'm just gonna hook these tires up to the engines I'm gonna try to even them out as best as possible I think there's seven wheels on each side yep seven wheels on each side so we're gonna have to have another wheel somewhere else probably in the back one might work there we go now we're going to have to add thrusters for turning again. Not such a big problem. But if you guys have a idea of how to get tanks to turn better than using thrusters, let me know. Because that's currently all I know. Okay, that looks good. Now we just got to change the direction of the tires. And we can test it out and see how well it works. Okay, here we go. Oh, it looks pretty good. How does it do on bumps and stuff. It looks like the suspension's actually working pretty good. That's awesome. Alright, so I just made the tank capable of turning by using some thrusters here. I'm not sure if that's the best way to turn a tank, but if you guys know a better way, please let me know. So there we go. The tank actually can turn now. But one thing I noticed is if we press the buttons at the same time, the tank is gonna slide sideways. <laughs> Which is actually, I guess, decent if we get stuck on one side. It's not going to help the other side. So there we go. Now we just got to build the body and we can start with the hovering mechanism. Now I don't know what style I want to go for for this tank. But I guess I, I, um, I guess we can try to go slanted armor now that we have the coloring. With the staircase wedges right here. And I guess we can try some... Uh, we're going to use concrete again because it's lighter than the metal. All right, so I'm just gonna start off by building the front of the tank. I guess something like that is decent. And we're gonna have to landscape this quite a bit to save us on weight issues. All right, so I just figured out a pretty good plan for the body of my tank. Now I got some nice slopes here on the front of the tank. I don't think it really matters at all. But on this side, I'm just going to go all the way across, and hopefully it'll look pretty decent. And then we can get started on the top of the tank, and then the thrusters. Now, I don't know how well this thing's going to fly, because it looks very heavy already. <laughs> Alright, so let me just finish this up, and we'll get started on that. Now, I don't know if this is proper. If you guys have any suggestions on how I can make this better, please let me know. Okay, both sides are done. Now I'm just going to add some color to it to give it some more depth. Now I'm not sure which color I was wanting to go with. 
I think a nice gray for now works. And then we can uh, customize it for later. I think this looks pretty decent. I don't know how the wood is going to look once colored. I think that looks alright. Looks decent, I guess. Sweet. Looks pretty good. Now, the color tool doesn't want to work all the time. Not sure why. But I think that looks pretty good. Yep. Alright, I'm going to get working on more of the body. Not sure how I want the rest yet. This is... Taking longer than I expected, but whatever. Alright, so there we go. We pretty much got the body done. I added a lot more slants to the top piece here. Now, I didn't want to add any to the side because it kind of looks funny because there's no corner blocks for this. Now, um, I still have to do a little painting on this. But we're going to test out the weight of this thing. Now, I need to do the back as well. It's, there's no armor back there yet. Okay, here we go. Looks pretty good. Might need to add a little more weight. It looks like some of the tires are colliding. Hmm. I think that's fine though. This should be good. It looks good. It looks good. Let's see how it works going down a hill. On some jumps. Now these thrusters aren't doing too much work yet either. Come on. Down the hill. Down the hill. <laughs> Okay, it looks like it's doing pretty good still. The suspension's working. Huh. Alright. Oh, it's gonna have some trouble going up the hill. Come on! No, it's not gonna go up the hill. We can go backwards, though. Okay, well, let's get back to work on this machine. Now, I noticed it's quite a bit more laggy. Because that's because we're using entities. These little triangle corner pieces are actually entities, which causes a lot of lag and distress. To the game that should be fine we're just building this for fun okay here we go i'm gonna work on the back now before we get working on the turrets and the uh thrusters i don't know how i want to i want to do this probably similar to the front okay so there we go the body of the tank is complete now i i'm, I'm really scared to see how leggy this thing is gonna get but i think it's all right currently so I got the back kind of sloped. This tank is actually really high for being a tank. Which, in a way, would be a bad thing due to people having access to your bottom mantle, which is really, really weak, or your bottom plate. Okay, here we go. This thing looks uh, pretty sweet so far, in my opinion. I guess it's more of an armored personal carrier. I'm gonna add the turret pretty soon, though. Oh, looks like it's working pretty good. And we can start on the turret. Now the turret's going to be uneven because the tank is uneven. But we can do our best. Now I don't know how big I want to make the turret. Uh, something around there. Okay. Now I already built the turret before. And uh, accidentally removed it from the bearing. So I had to rebuild it all. So I think this looks good. And I put some angled blocks on it. Don't want to put too many though because uh the tank's already starting to lag and i don't know how well it's gonna work once we have it flying okay i want the tank to have an access on the roof through the turret so that we can get out and in easier to do that we're gonna make the turret pretty big actually okay so i made it so the turret looks like it's actually moving from the back let's test this out okay it looks a little better Still not the greatest, but it will work for now. I don't want to have to rebuild it all. <laughs> okay, now we're going to get this back on the lift so it doesn't lag. There we go. Looks pretty good. We're going to go up here. We're going to add the hatch door. Something like this. Uh, let's make our... Controller first, so we don't forget. I think that's a good spot. This bearing goes to the controller. We'll have a button. Right about... Right about here. For now. Okay. This button goes here. And this button can also go to the seat, so that we can open it from the seat. Okay. 
Now let's build this. There we go. There it is. Okay, blue 90. That's 75, 90. Okay, let's open this up. There we go, we got a working hatch. That's pretty good. All right, now we have access to the back. We're gonna add our thrusters now. I don't know how many we really need. We're gonna test it out like this. Come here. There, hopefully that's even. Looks even. Okay, that thruster's in the way. All right, I think that is currently enough. We have the buttons on the thrusters and on the lift. Now let's test this out. I actually forgot to uh, hook up the button to the seat though. Okay, I must have did something wrong. Here we go. Okay, let's try this out. Oh no. <laughs> okay, well we got air and something happened with our tank. Kind of broke. I don't know why it's doing that at all. It's actually really weird. It's not supposed to do that. Huh. Strange. Okay, it just went back to place. I think it's due to how heavy the tank is and how much force there is. Because as you can see, some of the thrusters aren't even getting lifted from the, the, the top piece. Okay, what we can do there... So we can add more force to the back, or we can remove some from the front. Front. All right, now that we got the thruster set up, let's test this thing out. Holy crap, is it actually hovering? Holy crap. That's sweet. Now there's a problem with the tank currently where, um, due to the, how heavy the tank is and something wrong with the objects on the tank, it lifts the whole front end upwards. I have no clue why at all, but I think it's good. Now, to get this tank to actually work better, we're gonna change some of the thrusters to put the force down so it actually hovers a little slower. Then we can add a thruster to the back and then we can fly. So there we go, the tank is actually hovering now. Now, it's not going to be the most stable thing out there because, uh... It's a freaking heavy tank. But it still drives. And the turret turns. Pretty good, actually. And then we could be like, Oh no, enemy! What are we going to do? We can fly out of here in our hover tank. Hover tank away! Oh god, it's actually flying really good now. Even though it's supposed to hover, not fly. But hey, when I actually, um... Use my, uh... Controls to move my tires, or my tracks, it actually balances the tank out. Oh crap, we're gonna go out of control. Okay, let's see if we can land this. Alright guys, so that's the hover tank. We got it to fly a bit, and we got everything working. The body actually looks really good in my opinion. Could do a lot more work though. I'm going to wait for them to balance out the game a little more, add more features, and then I'll decide what I want to do with this. But if you guys have any suggestions for the tank, or any other builds, please let me know in the comments. But thank you for watching and subscribing, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay sweet! Bye!